video, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, but if I was off camera, I'd twist my neck in a whole three motherfucking 60. Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Live Reacts, and we back at it again with another fucking video. I'm telling you, watching this video, yo. This guy literally wearing barefoot shoes for two years straight, bro. I did this intro like three to five times and feel like. I feel like I already know what to say. If you're brand new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on post notification, hit that like button. It gets stupid in here. Y'all sit here and don't do it. I'm gonna eat honey the shit out of y'all. Damn. Fuck wrong with my tiny ass brain. Damn. The shoes that we wear every single day nice are actually feet. messing Bend up in. our feet. The cushion, the heels, and the narrow toe boxes. They're not allowing our feet to move the way they were designed to. But luckily, there's a simple... First thing first, how the fuck you know how our feet was designed to move? Our feet is for us to walk. Now I'm saying? Like, we walk on that motherfucker. If our feet move, we move. Just like that. Like... ...full way of fixing it that will get rid of that pain and make you stronger than ever. But to properly understand what that is, you gotta go backwards 10,000 years in time. Our ancestors survived on the land completely barefoot because literally the foot is like 4 million years Bones, of joints, ligaments, tendons. There's a spring, there's muscles that are protected. Wait, 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 wait. So we just... Of bioengineering. We just gonna, we just gonna allow that to just go by and nobody look at that right hold on let me see if my finger could catch on to it so this is a camera right let's buy the mouse right wait 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 boom do y'all see that right there bbc bbc if you like skin you don't got that chill <laughs> said no lie he's speaking facts word Let's see. Bring, there's muscles that are protection, there's calluses that are made over time, and it's all so we could survive, so we could outrun our prey. We would do this thing called persistence hunting, mm. where we would basically be able to run longer than anyone else. We could also cool ourselves down with sweat, but then they started to wear shoes on their feet, basically just things to protect their feet from the environment's sharp rocks, the cold, and then the Europeans and Asians decided to take all of this to the next level. They added heels and platforms so they would appear taller. They would make them super narrow, even to the point in China they would do this thing called the Lotus. Yo, I seen and that shit. In, in real life, I seen somebody feet like that. Yo. 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 But the thing is this though, like to really think about it, I like, all right, so. And we're supposed to be running around barefoot, 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 right? So our feet could put us into the human state to be inside survival mode whenever our prey, not our prey, whenever our predator is trying to kill us, right? It's supposed to help us survive. But we got to remember 10,000 years ago, there was no type of needles that's outside that's going to give you HIV different type of diseases and etc etc now we have these things only on like on the ground right that can mess us up or whatever even though that the, the the shoes is damaging us right because we're not getting a full flexibility it's also protecting us which is pretty crazy because if our feet was on the ground 24 7 we will have feet problems, guaranteed, by the age of 23 years old. Walking on bare ground, concrete, when it's 100 degrees outside, we're supposed to be walking on that motherfucker? That'd be crazy. No cap. You see the dogs that be walking on their feet or whatever? Right? With no shoes when it's 80-something degrees, 90-something degrees? That motherfucker burn. Niggas is in pain. What? Can't be me. I'm putting on some goddamn leaves on my feet. Some shit. 1970s. And it literally just 
completely messes everything up. Basically, running started to become super popular, and Bill Bowerman, a co-founder of Nike, came in and invented a complete new way of running, where you would basically take a stride longer than your center of gravity, which would mean all of the force is going into your heel. If you do that barefoot, it freaking hurts. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend. No, that's bad, that, yeah. You had to have his super cushioned shoes, and they marketed it really, really well, and it's literally the shoes that we wear today. By the way, there's no, there was no scientific evidence that more cushion reduced injuries. What the heck? And there's been a bunch of problems that have arose as well. Like we have plantar fasciitis, ankle sprains, bunions, hammered toes, blisters. It can also be sending more <laughs> shock throughout your kinetic chain. Cause you wearing small sneakers, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> How much you gonna get that? <laughs> to your knees to your lower back, to your neck. But there is a solution to actually fix these problems. Fast forward to 2005 and we- You see where he's running at though, right? All the strategic things that he's saying, he's running in grass. He's not running inside of Miami. When it's 100 degrees outside on concrete. We now get minimal shoes. These bad boys come into the scene. There's a couple of marathon runners that start running in them. And we got this awesome book called Born to Run, which basically shows us these guys, the Tara Humara, run marathons freaking every day. Like, it's bonkers. And they literally do it in sandals. What the heck? Basically, <laughs> the book Born to Run. Yo. That was cool. <laughs> yo. Basically, the author of the book went down. Look at my feet compared to, to theirs, yo. Is, so. <laughs> heck? Basically, Look. Freaking every day. Like, Look, bro. And that's because I wear sneakers. Keep my shit nice, nigga. Come on. What you talking about? Like, comment, subscribe. It's bonkers. And they literally do it in sandals. <laughs> what the heck? Basically, the author of the book, Born to Run. Yo. That was cool. <laughs> Basically, the author of the book went down there trying to help figure out his own freaking pain from running and basically figured it out literally from studying these guys. So essentially, our barefoot minimalist shoes are going to be super freaking flexible. They're not they're not supposed to change your toes. I hate you, bro. They're encouraging your toes to spread out <laughs> like they're naturally supposed to. There's no well, I see that. I was just hoping y'all didn't see that. Bro, Snatcher said, big toe dirty, gang. Look at everything else, bro. Look at everything else. No drop at all. They're just completely <laughs> flat. There's no heel, nothing like that. And not to mention they're lightweight and they give you more sensory awareness of what's on the ground. So for example, if there's a rock there, your foot can actually go around it like it's supposed to. Also, we have a decent amount of research about uh -oh. it now showing that there are benefits, Again, but it's not conclusive use your own decision here but again these are still super ugly like <laughs> who wants to wear these man but that was just my opinion i want i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie i may i may buy some barefoot shoes this summer hopefully that the 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 the, the what is it called the base of the uh of the shoes is not um how i'm gonna put it it's not too thin to the point that it's going to overheat the shoes whenever I'm walking on hot concrete. I'm saying I may just try it out, though. May just try it out. See how I feel about it. Show you on my feet afterwards. You said my foot. <laughs> you ain't getting stuck. <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, nah, my big toe is dirty, though. I seen that motherfucker, bro. I was just trying to, like, you know, like, <laughs> yo. <laughs> I wanted to know what other people thought. Would you wear these in public? Uh, what am I doing in public? You're going on a date. <laughs> no. No. Can you no, I would no, not. you're not wearing them. Well, luckily, oh, yeah. we've gotten better barefoot shoes that actually look like normal shoes. I literally get the comment all the time that this doesn't even look like a barefoot shoe, but it is. These are like also barefoot shoes. Would you wear these? Yeah, I yeah. definitely wear That's them. That's crazy. They look a lot egg. Like, they look like normal shoes. They look yeah, like they normal look... shoes. Yeah. Look you said barefoot, actually. I did not. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> and all the same features with this bad boy. Really wide toe gap, so your feet can splay the way they're supposed to. The only thing, though, is like, barefoot shoes can get pretty expensive. I wouldn't wear those. Like you said, the flexibility of the feet, of the toes, or whatever, right? 
like it's a pulse of maneuver the way it's supposed to maneuver or whatever the case may be i'd rather have to get the one that that's like that have each individual toe towards each the like you know what i'm saying for your feet because I kind of hate when my toes is like this sometimes. I hate that shit. So my shit could be like this. I'm good. Expensive. But there's a bunch of different companies. There's Feel Barefoot. There's Zero Shoes. There's Feel Grounds. So hopefully you can find something that's within your budget and still gives you the benefits that you're looking for. But okay. here's where the real journey begins and the actual problem starts. I wish I knew this two and a half years ago when I got my shoes. So just like doing anything for the first time, you either have to learn how to do it. For example, with your bike, you put on training wheels. And in this case, you're going to have to relearn how to walk again and retransition <laughs> to walking in barefoot shoes. Please don't be a dumbass like me and literally just dive in cold turkey. There are a decent amount of people that hurt themselves. But here are the recommendations that I wish I knew earlier and will ease your transition period like crazy. So the first tip is when you do start wearing your barefoot shoes, take it easy. Maybe just wear them for one walk in the morning or just on occasional days. Don't go like crazy and replace every single one of your shoes. The second one is you can wear these toe spacers <laughs> or also these toe stocks. Toe stocks. Toe stocks. <laughs> You can wear these toe socks whenever you wear normal shoes to start encouraging your toes to splay. Oh, parties, okay. Shoes off in front of other people. You're gonna get lots of funny looks. <laughs> but it's always a good conversation starter. And also, whenever you're working it's an investment. or when you're sleeping, I don't like to do it really when I'm sleeping. You can wear these toe spacers. That's what I'm saying, bro. I didn't even want to say it. How the fuck you hurt yourself wearing, sh wearing shoes? Yo. I thought it was the only one thinking that, bro. Like at this point, it yeah. Really weird, but <laughs> work. Subscribe to my OnlyFans page. <laughs> I'm joking. Whoa, I'm joking. whoa, whoa! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, don't freaking, yo. The type of weirdness he's doing now got me thinking that his OnlyFans would be completely. <laughs> guarantee you that your Achilles tendon and your calf are going to feel some type of way. <laughs> very interesting, very lovely feelings. I didn't have this when I was transitioning, but having a massage gun like a Theragun or literally whatever you want to get is pretty clutch. Literally just massage it out. Holy shit. Okay, maybe the pain doesn't ever go away. <laughs> Anyways, it's, it's a handy little tool. <laughs> so by the way, I'm not a professional with any of this stuff. I'm just sharing my experience. See, see, see. It's an organic toe picks. <laughs> At the end of the video, he want to say that he's not a professional with this uh, this experience. And you started off all strong at home. You want to make it seem like you know what you're talking about. But at the end of the day, you're not a professional. And you're going through mad pain. And you turn that's what we're supposed to be, supposed to be doing because of 10,000 year, 10, years ago. Crazy. All right. You wasn't going through this pain when you was wearing sneakers. But you're going through this pain when you wanted to try to live like you was living it 10,000 years ago. Did you know in 10,000 years ago, Peter was over 100 years old? We can't live like them anymore. Did you know that 10,000 years ago, BC lived lifestyle? That they had multiple wives? They was living over 100 multiple wives and then they had magical powers. Believe it or not. When I mean my magical powers is that there was some people that was doing like little magic tricks the same way how people do it nowadays. But it was pretty cool. Like it was way better than what they do now. Right? And then uh what is it called? Spiritual powers as well. Come on now, what? Two thousand years ago it was crazy. You get away with murder and then You good, like nowadays they find you extremely quickly. Kill somebody inside some tall grass and you just drag them towards the lake and you, you chilling. They don't know fingerprints, they don't know they ain't no cameras, none of that. 
experience and my research. I'm gonna link some videos down below that definitely do a better job helping to transition you. And after two and a half years of doing this, I relearned how to walk. My gait changed. I don't take as big steps anymore. I'm more aware of the ground. My calves grew intensely in size. And literally, I just, I just feel like a stronger, more pain-free human being. And this goes to show that less- <laughs> Yo, yo, hold on. I just thought about the craziest thing. Right? So like the barefoot shoes, ha ha, yeah. Right? So that means when we step in shit, we step in bare shit. <laughs> Yo <laughs> And we might honestly just be overcomplicating different areas yeah. of our life. Be sure to subscribe with post notifications on. And Make sure y'all do subscribe. With post notifications on. You did what I'm saying, but nah, no cap that's I never recommend anybody and everybody to do that, bro. Ever, 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 ever. Nah. Nah. Don't say he didn't do that, bro. He's, like he said, he hurt himself. And his calves is hurting. Now to this day, and it's been two years and a half later. <laughs> like, what? Permanently damaged. Let's see how long that pain, like, lingers, bro. Like, who want to go through pain for two and a half years straight? No matter, like, Finally even, find that thing. even a massage gun is not helping him.